So why is Saul's Upholstery one of the biggest names in custom e-bike seats? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. In this video, we'll be visiting Saul's Upholstery, an industry leader in custom e-bike seats. We'll talk about their growth, custom products, and take a tour of their facility. Want to know how your seats are made? Stick around to find out. We're here at Saul's Upholstery, about 20 minutes from Manhattan. I'm here with Saul Guzne of Saul's Upholstery. Saul, why would anyone want a custom e-bike seat? I mean, you get the bike you want, you get the color you want, but when you think about how many hours you're sitting on the seat, why not just make it super comfy for you? I agree. So let's see how these seats are made. Come on, let me show you. My name is Saul Guzne and I'm the manager slash owner of Saul's Upholstery and Drapery here in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Well, it was started by my dad many years ago. He was a young man in Ecuador, did a lot of upholstery work, came to the US in the early 80s, worked for some people, and then once he started learning English and he found that he could do four to five services, he said, I'm gonna go into business for myself. So honestly, it's not me. It was a lot of his work in the early 90s, late 80s. I mean, I'd like to think New Jersey, New York is full of immigrants, Latin Americans, people that are second generation here. But when it comes to family business, I think New Jersey, they're very picky. If they don't like your services, they're not gonna come to your restaurant. They're not gonna buy your product. You're not gonna see bad restaurants open for too long. But the same goes for us. Uh, we've been here for over 30 years and it's a testament to good customers just giving us referrals. We don't do a lot of ad work, only recently, but it's not a lot of that. It's more, who did that chair for you? Oh, Saul's Upholstery and Drapery. So we've been very lucky to have people like that. I was in the market for a juice scrambler and at the time it had just come out and I had to say this is different, it's new, I don't know if I'm going to get pulled over but I want it. And then on the forums I was curious to who had bought it, if there's one in the area can try it and then one guy was complaining about how hard it is. Not that it was anything genius, I thought wait a second, I think I can do something with this. And I said look if you send me your seat I'll recover it for free and send it back to you. He ended up tagging on Instagram. Guys in LA, guys in New York had these bikes. The whole group here just reached out to me and said, hey, I want you to do my seat. And so it expanded to Onyx and Super 73 and Juiced, Aerial Rider, you name it. So it just started with a guy complaining, honestly. Well, I, I never understood when bike manufacturers give one seat that'll fit everybody. Girl, guy, tall, small, wide, narrow. It, it doesn't make any sense. So that, for me, was always the first thing. When it comes to a, a mattress, you can get it firm, you can get it soft, but then that's not the case when it comes to e-bike seats or motorcycles for that matter. You get one and you're supposed to be happy with it. So we come in to really make it fit your style. Sometimes people want it more narrow or, or even taller. So in that sense, it, it is really customized to fit your body. I think it's an extension of their personality, whether it be the colors they use or the, the stitching or whether you're embroidering their name, a lot of it has to be tied to them. And we just know that anything done fast just isn't worth it. If it feels like we're rushing, then it's probably gonna come right back to us. So that's one thing I never want. I never want the seat to come back and be a pain in someone's ass. At first, you wanna ask what you're looking for. It's very easy when you're looking for a place to eat, you already know what you want. But with stuff like this, people don't have anything to compare it to. So I say, look, tell me a little bit about yourself. Do you ride aggressively? Do you ride tall? How much do you weigh? And it might seem very intrusive, but that's one way I can find out what I can recommend. I'm not gonna give somebody smaller a seat that might be best for someone who's 6'2". Most of the educated clients, they just want what they've seen in a car. It's usually leather, but I wouldn't say that they're familiar with the foam. Very few people know about foam, so if they're looking for for something firm, I'll, I'll ask, compared to what? Compared to your dining room chairs, compared to like a pillow. Even in a BMW you have leather, but you don't know what's underneath the leather. That's, not, that's never an option. It's either Corinthian leather or cloth. But no one's gonna say, do you want firm foam or soft foam? So if I say, what do you like the feel of? It, it helps me a little bit, and I might get it wrong, but we go back to the drawing board and start over if we need to. This one is 
is possibly one of the coolest bikes I've ever seen. It looks like a dirt bike. It's certainly aggressive. So that I think it needs some shaping to the person's body. It, it lacks that. In some ways, the black Saran seat has Saran wrap wrapped over it. It doesn't do much for anyone who's trying to ride it aggressively. Whether it's good or bad, I'm not sure, but a lot of people end up changing it after a while. It's not made for anybody in particular. It's made for everybody, which means it's made for nobody. For starters, we made this uh, by hand. We carved it down and it's gonna be leather, full grain on the sides. It's gonna be a special carbon fiber print right down the middle with the classic moped lines, which isn't going anywhere. Most people think that what is new is new and I think what is old is back. There's a classic look to it. So we're gonna put some horizontal lines across. I think it's gonna come out great. Here it is. This is Saul's Upholstery Custom Suron X seat. Inside we added a bit more foam just so it's more comfortable when riding. And you can see we use the stock seat pan. Overall, this looks really, really nice. The stitching is perfect. I mean, all the lines are even. Everything about this has a very nice professional finish. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? This is definitely not something I could have done on my own. This pretty much looks exactly like the prototype that I sent over to Saul. Let's install it on the bike and see how it feels. So you're probably thinking there's not a lot of seat options for the Suron. Only two seem to be the most popular, the Luna Float Seat and the Race Spec MX Seat. And if you're going through the trouble of modifying your bike, definitely put some emphasis on the seat. We went with Saul's upholstery because we loved our custom Super 73 72 volt Z1 seat and we wanted to see what he could do with our Suron. We sent him our stock Suron seat, which revealed very minimal foam inside and a thin elastic covering on the outside. We wanted to go for a classic cafe racer design since we primarily ride supermoto. First, we sent Saul our concept idea, which was based on the Luna float seat, but with a slightly different shape and materials. Saul and his team create each seat by hand and for the Suron, he carved it exactly to our specs. Depending on your height and weight, he can add more foam, less foam, wide, narrow, and a bunch of other variables. For the top, we went with a carbon fiber style synthetic leather and horizontal stitching to create the classic cafe racer look. For the sides, we went with non-slip full grain leather along with black piping. Although the piping wasn't necessary, adding it to the edges gives it a professional looking finish that can add texture, hinting at the contrast of the two different fabrics. Saul also offers a wide range of different materials and colors. The options are limitless to create exactly to what you want your bike to look like. Overall, it's up to you to take ownership and do whatever you want to do. We love modifying our bikes and the seat is a big part of that. So we just installed Saul's upholstery custom Suron seat. I love how the shape really matches the frame. It's very subtle, but compared to the stock seat, we changed the shape slightly, raise it up a little bit higher. I think it looks much better than the Luna float seat. I think the lines up here where the two different fabrics meet just has a more interesting look than the Luna float seat where the stitching was kind of more on the sides. As you can see, the top is this carbon fiber synthetic leather, the horizontal stitching. Saul used a template to make all of these lines exactly the same width across. Full grain leather on the sides, non-slip, and we have this black piping that goes all the way from the rear to the front. So it has a very sleek aerodynamic look to it. We have the 72 volt Gladiator X battery, so it lifts up the lid a little bit higher. Since the foam of the seat is higher, it makes the lines look pretty good. I'll sit on it, see how it feels. It's my license plate. Oh, your license plate. <laughs> so I didn't measure this correctly and my custom license plate, vanity plate, was rubbing up against the fender. It was hard to actually test the seat with this thing rubbing up against it, so we took it off. All right. Yes. That feels much, much better. I think it feels much more premium than the Luna float seat. Yeah. There's extra cushioning, so when I'm going over these bumps, don't feel it as much. Definitely feels much more comfortable. I'm able to kind of grip the seat a little bit more with my legs. Yeah, I like this a lot. You can really tell the quality of the materials that Saul uses. So 
that's our first look at Saul's upholstery and how they've quickly grown and adapted in a rapidly changing industry. Big shout out to Saul and the entire team, and we look forward to supporting their unique custom products. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.